Hey YouTube, this is Joey, I'm back and today I want to talk a little bit about Occupy Wall Street and I'm going to again try to keep this in the 5 to 6 minute range and I've already wasted 17 seconds so um, Occupy Wall Street not going anywhere not going to get any traction uh, not a popular movement um, I could probably end the video right here but it won't uh, wow so already the media has portrayed this and perhaps rightfully so as a far left movement and so immediately uh, the majority of, and I would say the vast majority of the country is not going to get behind this movement um, already the media has portrayed this and perhaps rightly so rightfully so as um, a movement with no goals and uh, no real direction and so therefore uh, again you will not get any uh, solid backing from the majority of the population and uh, point number three uh, which is just a personal observation of mine but most of the protests uh, the photographs and the uh, uh, videos and such that I've seen on the internet uh, two people, uh, two types of people are are attending these protests. Uh, the first type being uh, young college age students um, with uh, basically nothing better to do, who uh, are protesting against the man, basically, which is what college kids do, and that's fine, you know. Uh, and the second are what I like to think of as kind of professional protesters. Uh, who go around to, you know, they just latch on to any kind of protest um, that's going on out there uh, on this kind of left side of the uh, uh, political spectrum and, you know, what I term kind of the dirty hippies from the 60s type people who uh, have been protesting their whole lives and this is what they do. So, uh, um, that those are not the types of people the the kids and the professionals are professional protesters are not the type of people that you're going to build a movement on so uh, I don't see this going anywhere um, I do see you know some of the, some of the complaints out there uh, especially from the college age kids you know I'm young and I don't have a job you know I just graduated college I can't find a job um, go freaking look for a job you're not going to get uh, if you went to school you know for uh, to be an advertising executive you're not going to get an advertising executive job right out of college just because you went to school for that you've got to work your way up you got to start at the bottom and work your way up that's a lost art here in the United States I mean, people just come into jobs and expect to go right into a job and be uh, given that high salary and given that position of authority or given that position uh, that they expect that they should have. And uh, it just doesn't work that way. You got to work your way up. You got to um, prove yourself. And until you do that. Uh, nobody's gonna want to hire you so a number one there are jobs out there go get you one go get you a job may not be the best job in the world may not be a job that you like uh, but go out there and get a job prove yourself to whoever you're working for D you know develop a good uh, a good working uh, habit a lot of people nowadays they don't know how to work never you know there's kids today that never had a job never done anything until they get out of high school or they get out of college never even worked at McDonald's you know go out there get a crappy job see what it's like do something you know I mean don't just sit around and collect unemployment and feel sorry for yourself 
uh, find something, get something, get something going, and you'll be amazed that once you do have a job, how many people are more willing to hire you, um, because it kind of proves that you're willing to do whatever it takes to uh, to get that job. It proves that you're willing to work. Period. So. Uh, that's all I, that's all I really got to say about Occupy Wall Street it ain't going nowhere I would say um, if you're at one of the Occupy Wall Street protests uh, give it up now go to the house stop being so damn outraged about uh, things that you have no control over and have no hope of having any control over if you want to uh, change the world uh, sitting on some, you know, street, taking up space, is not going to do it. You got to get out there and do it yourself. So, go do it. That's my challenge to you. Anyway, I'm done with this video. Peace out. See you tomorrow.